at 11 a.m. That's an hour and a half before noon. Why? Push the ball, have a shot. Kendrick, you know, shout out to all the car people. How you doing, sir? So, so good to be here. I'm okay. cool. Smiley man, how you doing? How you doing today? How was your basketball season? Well, it was it was a nice season overall, you know. How did everything go with you guys? School season? When I first started, I had nothing to, like, I didn't know what to expect because I came home this year, but it was actually great. First of all, you guys are really good. I mean, you guys are undefeated um, coming to the second half of the season. And one of the quotes that, you know, Coach Mark and Coach Miller put out there is, like, one gear. Coach Miller gave me the opportunity to put one more key um, to the piece that you guys needed, spark off the bench, and that was it. Marcus, you know, Ty, and them come off the bench and give us a nice spark. And we are going out middle of the season. I was expecting like a lot of big mats to step up like Geraldo did. Absolutely, like, like, there's no words to put in Oslo. Like, it's just an overall great experience. I mean, my first year going to Oslo was great. I learned a lot. Um, we had some great bonding with teammates. The first time I played in Oslo, and this it's actually like one of the greatest like Canadian tournaments ever. Nick Mona won his first gold. We know he made him win his first silver. Hopefully, um, we use that slot as a way to come back and be first next year. Well, it was a great experience, you know. I got to see a lot of things. I learned a lot about the game, you know. It was great to have Canby there, you know, seeing someone that could, you know, potentially go really far in basketball. Well, when a coach talks to you, you just gotta, like, you know, take the criticism, like he said. Just take the criticism and don't think about the yelling part, because you know Mona always yells. Do you have any quotes that usually yells out? Like anything <laughs> that's funny or blue, 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 all that. You know, like defense telling us when they're going to deny, deny, deny. That's the only that's the only like one coach that tells you what to do and every single play. Every single play tells you what to do. And then he coached me a good season, made me the player who I am my fire car. Second place right now in standings, and we just tied the best team yesterday in a game, which is Morocco. Well, to be honest, I say there's no individual star player on the team. Everybody makes everyone a star player to do something that every team needs to do. 
which is team work to say we score a goal, right? It's the he it starts from the back, from the defender, yeah. up to the midfielder, and then up to the striker, right? You can't say the striker get the ball from the defense and then take it all away by himself, no. So I'll say like everybody's a star player. That's the reason why they're on the team. We need to work together, learn to communicate more. You just gotta get a big win. We have a opportunity of making it to Alsa, and all we gotta do is put our minds together. First three years, my relationship with the coach were very bad. I, mean, I was that kid that, you know, that's, you know, changed the practice, doesn't listen and all this kind of stuff. You know, just kind of that annoying kid, I see. But over the year, you gotta learn, right? The stuff they're saying, it takes time to get through, but now they're saying it's more understandable. My relationship with all my coaches are good. I'm a good student, good athlete. You know, I, I'm, I'm a happy person, I'm a well people person too, so I can communicate. I wasn't expecting this from our team. Yeah. I'm very proud of our coaches and from my teammates. Uh, I believe in my team and I know we're going to do good. My mom did it when she was in high school. My dad did it when he was in high school. Oh. Yes! It's just a game, no pain, no gain, you know? You gotta go through some hardship if you wanna get somewhere. I'm definitely gonna miss this. I wanted to go on the B team because I thought that I would get, get a chance to show my skills. Basketball could really help help one's life. Like if I really work hard at it, my everyone will be happy. For our junior B boys basketball team, everybody thought that oh hey, we're gonna do bad, we're not even gonna make the playoffs, we're not gonna do this or that. I'm letting you know I'm working hard and just expect really great things from me in the future. Well guess what? We're actually we're actually one of the, like the top ranked people in our division. I was blessed to put in that position to put on that team. Two or three games, I think after early bird, we just started to connect and like we just knew like our roles. And those early morning practices, you know, those that actually brought us together. I came late to one of the practices in our role on the team. You come late to practice, then you're probably gonna sit out like half of the game. Then the weight room, just work on my core to like jump higher. I sat out half of the game, and you know, the second I got on, I just changed the game. We're probably down with like 10, 7 points. The second I got on, we tied up the game. Yeah, right now, right now, this is what I really want to do. I felt like the coaches, like, they really helped me step up my game and put more confidence in me. I would learn, like, never give up, you know, keep trying, never give up on your dreams. Oh, your brother is better than you, and like, keep working to become better than him, so, like, I won't be living by his name, he'll be living by, by me. <laughs> Take it to off. We can make it to off stuff. We just like stay focused, play more, play better, play as a team. And we need to get more chemistry. We have to improve and put in more work. Key people or on the junior team or something. The junior team. The junior team. Or key people like Peter, Trong, Uji Perez, Aku, me, Shaq, me, myself, and Jason. So, what do you think you guys will be doing next year to improve? More people have to come to practice. Going to the playoffs for your first year, like, was it nerve? Were you guys nervous or it was just whatever? No, we weren't nervous. We got used to it. We wanted to win. Um, I look forward to, you know, 
doing bigger things. Yeah. It's just our first year of grade nine basketball, you know? But now that we have more experience, next year, hopefully we'll do it better. They're very good coaches, actually. Mr. Reno, you know, he's very supportive. And Miss Jagada, she's very supportive also. You know, she just taught us to do our best and try our best and made everybody have a turn to play kind of thing. Learn something new. Whenever, like, I want to something or you might have an idea that you just you know like make bring out our ideas and stuff. Fix the small details in our game. When it came to game times, you know, we made little minor mistakes that we shouldn't have really been making. Just playing, spending a lot of time in the weight room, you know, just spending a lot of time, you know, working on our game, trying to get better, you know, watching film. Last year of football in high school, it was actually you know, a pretty good season. Yeah, we had a lot of great stat points. You know, we we had a great game versus Michael Power. It was a great overtime win for us. It's our team needs to be disciplined and executing during games because there's some games where you know we find it difficult to execute on plays that we hit bang on in practice. Oh, we gotta be more serious. Gotta, everyone has to come to practice. We had um Tran as a breakthrough quarterback this year. He's always been a good quarterback for us. You know, he's throwing a lot of great passes to us. We had um Jojo, you know, put in a lot of great runs for us this year. We had Navir, great work. Um, we had Jonathan O'Berry, David, and um, Josh Brown. Our coaching has changed a lot, you know, but we can't really blame that on our on our failures because we as a players we know we're a great group of guys and we gotta put in the work that we need to get better. So next year we're looking to be the best. We're trying to put car back on the map for football. Like at the end of the day, you know, we built a brotherhood, you know. It was a good season. I'm probably headed out to Windsor or Laurier and they probably have good programs there, so I might you know go to play for uh, try out their system. I think we'll be more structured. Uh, guys will come out more to practice. Uh, we feel a lot better. We're gonna win next year. Especially 